Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's me, Andrew here. Today I'm doing my full review on the all-new Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon. All right, let's get started. With an all-new design, the latest Intel Haswell processors, and the all-new adaptive keyboard, let's see if this laptop is worth your hard-earning bucks. Let me go ahead and break down some of the specs here. This is the high-end model. This laptop features an Intel Core i7-4600U running at 2.1 GHz. 8GB of RAM, 256GB SSD, Intel HD 4400. For the network card, we have an Intel Dual Band Wireless AC7260. 14-inch WQHD touchscreen display with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 Fingerprint scanner, Bluetooth 4.0. For the operating system, we have Microsoft Windows 8.1 Pro. And the retail price of this laptop is $20.99. For this section, let's take a look at the boot speed on the all-new X1 Carbon. This laptop features a 256GB SSD. And the results are in. This laptop booted up in about 16 to 17 seconds. Next up, let's talk about design and build quality. As many of you know, the ThinkPad line has been known for its legendary build quality and performance. And the ThinkPad X1 Carbon 2014 edition is no different. With a premium carbon fiber construction, excellent build quality, this laptop has what it takes for demanding business users on the go. As these ultrabooks get thinner, let's go ahead and test out the flex on this display. There is some flex, however, not too much for me to be concerned. Next up, let's take a look at our connection ports here on the left side of the laptop. Starting from left, you got your AC charging port. After taking off this plastic tab, you'll now have access to the Lenovo One Link connection port. Next up, you got your HDMI output, mini display port, USB 3.0 port, and audio connection port. And to the back side, you got your micro SIM card tray. And for those of you that are wondering, where's the SD card reader? Forget about it. Lenovo removed it from this year's model. Next up, let's take a look at the right side. Here you got your security lock slot, exhaust port for your fans, Ethernet extension connection port. Here goes the adapter provided from Lenovo. And finally, you got your USB 3.0 port. With the new One Link connection port, you'll now have access to the ThinkPad One Link Pro docking station, which will give you access to an additional 11 ports, but the retail price is $179.99. Next up, let's talk about this gorgeous 14 inch anti glare display with a resolution of 2560 by 1440. Text and images are very sharp, and the colors are outstanding. Next up, let's test out this IPS display by tilting the display to the left. Check this out guys, this is still very visible. This laptop has one of the best viewing angles I've ever seen. My only complaint on this panel was the brightness level. I just wish it was slightly brighter. Alright, let's go ahead and tilt the display back, and let's test out this IPS display in action. Check that out, it's very visible. Even at this angle, it's still visible. Like I said, this is one of the best in the business. Next up, let's talk about keyboard performance. Typing on the all-new X1 Carbon 2014 edition has been very good. While it may not be as comfortable as the all-new X240, the X1 Carbon was sufficiently for me. Let me give you a brief demo of the key travel on this keyboard. I'm going to hit the shift key a couple of times. Take a look at that key travel. Next, I'm going to show you the four different adaptive key modes. The first mode we have here is the function mode. Next mode we have here is home mode followed by web browser mode, and finally web conference mode. In this section, I'm going to show you a brief demo of how the adaptive key modes work. Let me go ahead and go to the desktop. Next, I'm going to activate the Windows search function. Next, I'll just activate the multitasking tray. Here, you'll have access to all your apps that are currently running. Next, I'll just hit the short key for the All Apps button. Here, you have access to all your applications and etc. The next capacitive button we have here is the snipping tool, where you can take screenshots and etc. Next up we have SkyDrive where you can access your online cloud based storage. And finally we have your Dragon Assistant voice command button. The all new adaptive key modes have brought new options and shortcuts to the keyboard that makes the Windows experience more exciting and easier to use. Next up let's test out the touchscreen performance on the all new X1 Carbon. Multi-touch gestures, scrolling and etc has been very smooth on this touchscreen panel. Overall I've been highly satisfied. Next up, let's talk about track point performance. The track point has been very precise and accurate. What about the all-new trackpad? Trackpad performance has been very good. Two-finger scrolling, multi-touch gestures, swiping left and right, everything has been smooth. After using the buttonless trackpad of the X240, I've gotten used to the sensitivity levels of the all-new trackpads. Next up, let's talk about fingerprint reader performance. After programming your fingerprint in the Fingerprint Manager Pro, I was able to log into my laptop using my finger without any issues. Overall, I've been highly satisfied with the fingerprint reader on this laptop. Next up, let's test out the all new video gesture feature. Here I'm going to try to control the volume up and down with my hand. So far, no response. 
Let's test out swiping to the left now. There we go. We got a response now. Let's try it to the right side. Let's go ahead and try the volume mode one more time. That's weird. It's not working. So far, it's been hit or miss with the all new video gesture feature. However, during my test, photo gestures work perfectly fine. Next up, let's talk about some of the new features in Windows 8.1 Pro. Microsoft has now brought back the Start Menu button. Now you also have the option of booting directly into desktop mode. Microsoft also improved multitasking management. Now you can multitask with up to four apps if you have a resolution of 2560 by 1440. Microsoft also included some bug fixes and performance enhancements to improve your Windows experience. Next up, let's talk about the processor. This laptop features Intel Core i7-4600U running at 2.1 GHz with a turbo boost up to 3.3 GHz. Power from this laptop has been outstanding. Whether I'm browsing the web or exporting an HD video clip, the CPU was up to the challenge. Next up, let's take a look at some Geekbench 3 performance scores. This is a 64-bit version. With a single core score, I got 3,289 and multi-core score of 6,188. Next up, let's take a look at Cinebench R15. For the CPU, I got a score of 227 CB. Next up, let's test out the Intel HD 4400 using 3 d Mark. For the Firestar, I got a score of 595. Cloudgate, I got a score of 4,503. And IceStorm, I got a score of 41,760. With the Intel HD 4400, you can expect to play light duty games like Minecraft, FIFA 14, and Counter-Strike, for example. Next up, let's take a look at the performance from the Samsung 256GB SSD. For this session, we're going to focus on the sequential read and write speeds. For the read speed, I got 489.2 megabytes a second, and the write speeds came in at 251.8 megabytes a second. With these kind of scores, you can expect good boot up times and excellent response from your applications and etc. For this section, let's talk about battery performance. With the 4 cell battery pack, I was able to get around 5 to 6 hours out of a full charge depending on my usage, with screen brightness at around 85%. If you need better battery performance, then I would suggest waiting on the custom build model and select the 8 cell battery pack. Next up, let's talk about speaker quality. The speakers on this laptop are facing down and the sound quality is average. Nothing to brag about. I just wish they start facing the speakers up for better clarity. Alright, let me get these screws off and let's take a closer look inside this laptop. And here it is. There goes the massive 4 cell lithium ion battery pack right there that's taking up almost all the space inside the laptop. So far, the only item that I see as upgradable is the flash based Samsung SSD stick. Let me get you a better picture of the SSD stick. Wi Fi performance from the Intel AC7260 has been spectacular. I have not experienced any connection issues, drops, or anything of that nature. Next up, let's talk about the fan performance. The performance from these fans have been amazing. This is one of the quietest and coolest running laptops I have ever tested. Good job, Lenovo, on the engineering of the new fan system. So the next topic brings us to temperature control. On average, the CPU ran at about 40 to 45 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's get to the conclusion of this laptop. Lenovo is aiming this laptop for the user that wants one of the thinnest and lightest laptops on the market without sacrificing performance. Many users, including myself, are disappointed with Lenovo for removing the SD card reader. That's a bummer. Lenovo is betting on external accessories for those of you that need more ports and options, and with the launch of the new ThinkPad One Link dock, Lenovo hopes it will resolve your issues. Besides that, this laptop is a worthy successor to the previous generation ThinkPad X1 Carbon. However, for those of you on a budget, I would recommend you to take a look at the previous generation X1 Carbon for a much better value. Alright, this completes my review on the all new X1 Carbon 2014 edition. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button and please subscribe for more upcoming videos. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.